right, so this is a tutorial on 2Look CMLL. 2Look CMLL is after we finish the first block and the second block, we have to solve the four top corners. So, you can learn full CMLL, which you should do eventually, which is 42 algorithms, which will get you... Basically, you look at whatever combination these uh, pieces are in, and you do one algorithm to solve everything. 2Look, on the other hand... First, we need to orient the stickers, so yellow is all facing up, and then we permute them, and we move around the pieces so that they're in the correct positions. If you're transitioning from CFOP to RU, then you probably already know 2Look OOL, um, and you can use those algorithms for the orientation cases, but there are a lot more efficient ones that you can use, and I would recommend uh, using them instead. They're not that hard, they're easier, because they're more efficient, and I'll be showing you all of those cases today. So this is the first case, um, you have one sticker that's facing up, so, so correctly oriented, and what you're going to do is you're going to look at these stickers here, and if you have, if you put this in the bottom left corner, then, and you have a sticker facing out like this, then you can do this algorithm. Uh, now that can be done really fast, but I have a faster way to do it, except I'm not going to teach you that just yet. I'm going to move on to the next case. Yeah. So if you put this sticker in the bottom left corner and this sticker is facing out, then you're going to put it in the top right corner and then it's going to be facing, uh, then this sticker is going to be facing this way. And yeah, you're going to do this algorithm. And that algorithm can be performed very fast. So like that. Now what I said earlier about wanting to show you a faster way to do this case, um, you can do this pretty fast, but I think it's uh, easier, at least for me personally, to instead put this sticker in the top left corner and do the same thing as if it were here and this sticker was facing out, except I do it on my left hand, so I just inverse everything and I would use this algorithm. So this case is very easy. It's just two of the right-handed uh, soon, which is what the other earlier case was called. So where you have one in the corner and one sticker here. Do that twice, except uh, just cancel out the F, so it'll look like this. And then doing it fast, it would look like this. In this next case, we have two facing up and two facing out. That one jo goes just like this. And then fast would be like, like that. Uh, make sure when you're doing the final F prime, you're taking your thumb and pushing it up like that. A uh, pretty common finger trick, but very important at the same time. So this case, uh, we have two on the side here, or it could be on this side too. And then we have uh, these two are facing out. So here you do this algorithm. And then if we have it on the right... The last case is this one. Um, there are two algs I use for this. Uh, I'm going to show you the faster one first, and then I'll show you one that I just discovered. It's not as fast, but it's still decently fast. So uh, the fastest one I think goes like this. And then the not as fast one would go like this. Alright, there may be a slight change in like angle and lighting because I forgot to film this case until after I was 
almost done editing the video. So anyway, there are two permutation cases you can get. Uh, the first one is this. I look, I see I have this piece is incorrect, this is correct, incorrect, and correct. So I have to swap these two diagonal pieces, and you're going to use this algorithm. So then the other orientation case you can get is where I look, I see correct, correct, and correct, and correct. So I have to slip, uh, swap these two. So it goes like this. And besides that, just make sure you're using whatever algorithms you're most... Mo Besides that, just make sure you're using the algorithms that you're most comfortable with. Uh, if you're more comfortable with longer CFOP algorithms, that's fine, but you're going to eventually want to switch to the most efficient algorithm. But um, just make sure you're learning uh, CMLL, like full CMLL, as soon as possible after you learn this, because you want to get it out of the way, because at least uh, in my opinion, learning algorithms is very boring and I hate doing it. So make sure you learn CMLL ASAP because you won't have to learn it later. Um, besides that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in a future video.